Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Warrants' Let's Plays. Today I'm bringing to you uh, a video, just a short video, that's showing you how I finally was able to three-star GR3-19. I'm going to show you my team composition, go over that a little bit, and then show you how I did it. Uh, to my return viewers, thanks so much for your continued support. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Nothing left to say. I'm Lawrence, and let's play. First off, I will tell you that this is not a free-to-play friendly team comp. If you're looking for that type of content, you're going to need to go elsewhere because uh, there are several content creators out there like Ama Bucket, Ivy Lee. Make sure you're subscribing to those guys' channels. Uh, their channels are amazing. They, they put up great videos. Um, but they were able to do it like with like epics and rare combination team comp. I can't do that. Um, I, I, what you need to do is have like really, really solid gear to be able to pull that off and have certain heroes uh, that would work. I didn't do it that way. Um, I was able to do it with a mix of legendaries and epics. And here's my team comp. Lunaria, of course, has got to be there because of the Pierce Award skill that she provides um, all her star piercers, the extended range. Also, a little bit of a, a boost to their attributes of 10% is nice. I got Nyx, uh, use her, I'll show you on the map info. I put her on the right hand, or sorry, the left hand side to handle that side. Silas, because he's an absolute murderer of bosses. Razak to handle the right hand side, which is the most difficult side to deal with. There's two key components to this fight. Kill Zillatu as quickly as possible, so the adds don't keep spawning, so you're not wasting Tariel's alt to attack adds instead of focusing on the enemies on the right hand side. Vortex is my healer. I use um, Laurel for the rage regen. Cetrum also helps with uh, Silas to just nuke down Zolotu as quickly as possible. Valka, because of it, uh, having her A1, she reduces the revival time by 25 seconds for each hero. And of course, Dolores because of her inspiration boost. Uh, inspiration, um, it's important to try to get Dolores A1. I believe mine's A5 now. A1 Dolores boosts her uh, attack to her allies from 40% to 60%. So let's jump in here. Um, this is on three and a half times speed with the privilege card active. So I'm going to explain this as quickly as I can. First things first, you drop Torel or Idril, whatever you prefer, then Dolores. And then we put in our Silas. As soon as Silas and Torel are ready for alts, I start popping their alts. You see Torel takes uh, out that first dead eye tyrant on the side. You see the boss is taking quite a bit of damage. I put in Cetrum. I did put in. Um, uh, Laurel to boost Toriel's alt. You couldn't see it because it was too fast. Nyx is on the right hand side holding down that line. Here shortly you see I put in my Razak. The key is to put Razak in before that purple line even shows up because he builds his alt pretty quick but you see I got a couple of his basic attacks off first just to kind of weaken the enemies and then smack them with his alt which is nasty. The four armed octopus attack. Now you see I start despawning enemy or uh, heroes because I don't really need them. Once Zillatu's dead, there's no reason to have a bunch of enemies in the or uh, heroes in the middle. And you see Toriel, I pop her alt. She's just helping out with Nyx over there. We got uh, Razak, and he's uh, handling business. And biggity bang, that's it. That's how I did it, guys. Like I said, I mean it's a quick video. I I will leave you with this. That once you're able to start farming this particular gear it is a game and account changer for you it absolutely is infernal roar basic attack damage plus 40 percent soul mount arcana after the ultimate is cast uh, damage increases 10 percent permanently stacking up to five times so this is great for someone like hex and the guild boss for instance like those pieces of gear for those sets and putting and starting to put those sets together where you're not you're not um, prior to, prioritizing stats so much over the sets anymore. You're trying to get a mix of both. Um, it, it's such a game changer. Like it, it'll make all your content easier. It's going to make your guild boss scores go up. Uh, it, it's it definitely is a game changer. So I wish everyone the best of luck. Those that have not been able to uh, three star this um, this stage yet, because it really is a game changer. And I wish you guys the best. Uh, I, I hope that you do eventually get to that point because um, you're going to definitely want this gear. If you found this uh, video uh, you know, helpful or informative, please do smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, also, keep it locked right here at Lawrence's Let's Plays for additional Watcher Realms content coming your way. In fact, I'm going to be bringing to you today um, my first part in a new five-part series where I'm going to be doing the Legendary Heroes tier list for each character class. Um, thanks so much for stopping by. Nothing left to say. I'm Lawrence. I've been Lawrence's Let's Plays, and I am out of here. Take care, everybody. 
See you next time.